Hello Gemini, welcome to a love reading for the next six months. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you during this time. As always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so take what resonates for you, what might apply for your situation. Um, check out your other signs as well, um, and let's get right into it. So it's angels, guys. What messages do you have for Gemini? For the next six months in love. Gemini, I have a playlist specifically for your sign, so um, feel free to check it out if you want to see more readings from me for you. I have so many readings there. Uh, it'll be linked in the description box. Or what's coming towards Gemini spirit in the next six months in love. Confident, secure, and self-assured. Okay. What else? Who or what is coming towards Gemini in the next six months? When it comes to love, what can Gemini expect in love spirit for the next six months? Reach out, contact, exchange, touch, take the initiative to reach out. I feel like someone's going to be confident enough to approach you here to send that message, send that text. What else? What else can Gemini expect? What else for Gemini? What else can Gemini expect? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And bottom of the deck, you deserve love. Beautiful. Well, I know Geminis have been patient. <laughs> that is for sure. So let's get some insight in each, into each of these energies here. Spirits, tell me more for Gemini. Angels, guides messages guidance clarity for Gemini please regarding love for the next six months all right let's start with this confident card tell me more about this confident energy number 24 Tell me about this confident energy for Gemini. Eight of Cups. Oops. Okay, so the message I'm getting here is someone that knows exactly what they want. I know that's not what the Eight of Cups technically symbolizes, but you have to understand the Eight of Cups is a card about leaving something to go find what truly fulfills you emotionally. This Eight of Cups leads to the Nine of Cups. So I feel like this is someone that knows exactly what they want or exactly who they want to head towards. Can I get one more for this confident energy? Can I get one more? Seven of Wands. What's this? Four of Wands. And bottom of the deck, the Page of Swords. Okay, so with the Four of Wands here, interesting. Um, I feel like this is someone that is standing firm. Wow, Page of Swords, Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Three of Swords. Okay, some of you are dealing with a person that might be coming back from the past. I know that some of you are not interested in that, which is fine. I'm just showing you what the message is. I feel like someone wants to apologize or talk about some sort of disappointment or heartbreak that maybe has already happened. Or this is you kind of not really open to this person being so confidently, like being so, um, I guess, direct in their approach. 
because I feel like this person, what they want is the Four of Wands, but I don't see you there yet. I see you wanting to talk about this or get some more insight, some more information with the Page of Swords because of this Three of Swords. And then with the Seven of Pentacles, yeah, it's almost like you're not sure. We'll clarify that more in a little bit. Let me get more for this reach out. Tell me about this reach out energy. Obviously, somebody wants to talk, communicate, reach out. Tell me about this reach out energy. Page of Wands. This reach out energy here. Five of Wands. Yeah, it's it's almost like there's going to be a bit of a of a challenge here with the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. We'll have to get into why that is. This could be somebody else as well, like somebody that maybe doesn't want this person to approach you, or someone that doesn't want you to talk to them. Or maybe this is going to cause some sort of drama here for whatever reason. Tell me about trust. I kind of want to lay down the base cards first. And then we'll clarify with my um, clarifying deck here. Tell me about trust. Tell me about trust. Yeah, so whatever happened in the past, whether it's between you and this person, or you've had difficulty in love, you've been hurt before, it's not so easy for you to trust. It's not so easy for you to be open to this. Tell me about trust. And if there is a third party, even less. We'll see if that comes up, but tell me more about trust. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, when, when this person arrives, I don't think you're gonna be, um, maybe this person, um, I don't wanna say they lost your trust, but maybe, um, let me move the cards over. Maybe the fact that you waited for a long time or the fact that this offer took so, so, so long to get to you or this offer, the way this offer looks or appears, there's something that maybe you're not so completely trusting about. We'll see when I clarify. I have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. I feel like time here is important. Strength after that. It's like someone holding on, someone maybe having faith or trying to be strong, balanced here as they deal with these emotions with the three of swords. So let's clarify. I have this little tiny deck that I've been using recently and this one does have upright and reverse cards in it. So let's let's get some insight here. Spirits, angels, guys. Insight, please. Clarity for Gemini. What do we need to know about these energies, please? For Gemini. Okay, so let's get some insight in all of these here. Well, first, I wanna know about this Eight of Cups. What's this Eight of Cups about? Six of Wands. So someone's looking for something more balanced, more equal. Why is the Seven of Wands here? The Sun Reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Hmm. <laughs> Can I get one more? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Judgment. So this is gonna take you off guard, I feel. 
Uh, with the sun reverse, it's almost like you don't see this coming. It's I, I feel I see you in the dark about someone's intentions here. And then with the nine of wands reverse, I'm picking up like like your guard was down. You weren't expecting this. That's why your guard was down. But then when they show up, it's like, whoa, what's this you want to talk about? Why judgment? This could be somebody that literally shows up out of the blue. <laughs> I see someone like in your face, but like in a sudden way. Tell me about judgment. Death reverse, Scorpio energy. So someone doesn't, okay, this is someone that wants a second chance or wants to approach you after, okay, so I'm seeing both messages. The first message I'm seeing is that this is someone that doesn't want a connection between you and them to be over. They're resisting an ending between you and them. And so they want to kind of come in and balance this out. They could have left this connection in the past. For others of you, I feel like this person walked away from something. Like they literally ended something in their life, walked away from it. And they learned a lesson from it. And then they kind of meet you along the way here. I think when they, you know, if you're in that second group, when this person sees you, they're like, that's what I've been looking for. That's my partner, the person that's going to meet me halfway. This person's very confident and self-assured because I have that, they have that energy here. So this is someone that's very focused. They know exactly what they want, whether you're in the first group and it's a reunion or whether you're in the second group and they, they meet you or see you and it's like, that's what I want. Tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? The star, Aquarius energy. Why is the page of wands here? Knight of wands reverse. So once again, I still see this energy of healing a mistake or healing um, something like that. I'm also getting, okay, so I'm still getting this thing. It's almost like every time I say that, this is definitely a reunion. Spirit stops me and says, that's not all this is. The devil and the strength card reversed. Yeah, okay. I feel like someone made a mistake here. Capricorn, Leo energy. I feel like someone made a mistake here and yeah. And now they want to talk about it or they want to address it. Um, and again, this could be someone that had a mistake with you specifically or learn from their mistakes in their own journey, right? And now that they're meeting you, this is still kind of like part of their story. So I am seeing like I'm reading for two groups of Gemini for sure. Tell me about the five of wands. Temperance. So yeah, once again... Ooh, three of cups reverse, queen of cups reverse. Okay, some of you are definitely dealing with a third party situation. Um, or something that got in the way here that's causing conflict for either you or this person. I see, again, this, this idea of rebalancing, of balancing, of healing, of, of fixing. Oh, this was a delay. This is a delay. Okay, so whatever this conflict is, it's it's slowing your person down. So that's why temperance is here. That's why temperance showed up here too with this offer. They both showed up together. So this is timing. Whatever is going on in someone's life, this whatever is interfering in the speed of this, um, that's why there's a delay here. Ace of Swords. I see someone talking, even though they, they can't possibly bring you an offer right away. I see them talking about what they want. Yeah, you are, Gemini, the lovers and, this, and the page of swords. Yeah, it's like they want to talk to you still. Even if there's delays here in actually making this happen, I feel like they want to talk to you. And that's probably why trust is involved as well. Because it's like you can't really jump into a commitment with this person. And I don't know if you're into that. Tell me about this three of swords. Oh yeah, 
Jesus. Seven of Swords reversed. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Yeah, someone hurt you, Gemini. And I'm picturing you, Gemini's, the whoever you've kept this like very deep or this is something that you you've dealt with on your like with your like I, I, I feel like this is a very intimate pain almost like um you don't talk about this pain with others but it's always kind of there it's it's, it's affected your relationships or how you approach love yeah three of swords reverse you know if this is someone from your past there was a third party that got in the way and it was very painful for you um if and then for those of you in the second group where this is someone that kind of shows up that you necessarily didn't have a past with you still are hurt by what happened in love with you and it's affecting your connection with this new person the moon reverse Okay, so this could have been deception, something that came to light. Maybe you felt wronged. Maybe you felt like this was out of not what you expected. Uh, Pisces energy with the moon reverse. Maybe this was an illusion, something that you thought was going to be a certain way and it kind of blew up in your face or it just it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. All of this is affecting the trust that you have in this connection. Whether this is someone you know or you don't know. Two of Wands reverse. Interesting. So the message I just got with that was that you need to know for sure where this is going to lead. You don't want to deal with any more um, cloudiness or illusions or... Um, how do I say this fogginess uh, lack of clarity is not your game right now you're not interested in that because maybe what's happened in the past tell me about this knight of pentacles okay I got one more for this knight of pentacles Five of Wands again. Okay, so. So I'm going to be honest with you, Gemini. Eight of Swords reverse. Okay, so this person, and again, I'm going to just, I'm, I'm sounding like a broken record, but I want to be clear. There's two different groups of you, okay? Take what resonates with, with the group that you're in. For the first group, this is somebody that you've already had a past with. Um, I feel there's a third party here. This third party is going to cause conflict. However, your person's getting rid of them, basically. Your person is slowly disentangling themselves, breaking free of this energy. This is a delay. This is not an end. For the second group of you, where this is someone new, whatever they're dealing with in their own life outside of you it's still going to affect this connection it's going to affect the delay of you becoming a committed union with this person and so that's why there's kind of like you need to have it's like they're going to ask you to have faith in them like trust me gemini i'm serious about us i'm going to show you how serious i am it's just going to take time that's what i see here I get one more for this Knight of Pentacles. Yikes. Okay, whoever this is, this is like interesting. <laughs> this person, they don't want your person to be happy. They don't want them. This third party does not want your person the one that's coming towards you, this confident person, they don't want them to be happy. They're going to do whatever it takes to see them suffer is kind of what I'm picking up here. I don't think it's going to, to work. I think, yeah, I think the it's just going to slow your person down. And your person's going to like regret everything that they had with this person. It's almost like I cannot wait to get rid of this third party. I cannot wait to free myself 
Yeah. <laughs> There's the fool. Yeah, I cannot wait to free myself from this person. They're going to do it, though. Like, they are going to do it. I have the Eight of Cups here. And I have this Judgment card. I have the Page of Wands. I have the Knight of Wands. It's like, despite the difficulty, someone's still going to take the steps to move past this and have what they want to have with you. And I feel like, once again, this might be unexpected for you in a way, almost like, um, and also I feel like this person is going to have to make a really good case for you to have faith and wait a little bit longer for them because I feel like you are done waiting. Um, but I think in some way this person might convince you just because you're going to see how, um, how much they fight and they're going to tell you everything with this ace of swords. I think this is going to be like the turning point. It's almost like they're going to be so honest with you about all of this. They're going to tell you the nitty gritty about this huge block in their path because they don't want to lose you is what I'm thinking here. It's almost like I know that you need clarity, Gemini. I'm going to give it to you. You want honesty. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to be open. I'm going to bear my soul to you and tell you exactly what I plan to do. And I'm going to show you that I have integrity. The Ace of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Very, uh, these are, this is, the Knight of Pentacles doesn't play, okay? So, will there be drama? <laughs> yes. I think your person's going to try to kind of um, protect you from this, though. I, I, I think they're going to try to protect you from this because this was almost like their mistake and they don't want you to have to deal with the consequences of their mistake, right? So, I feel like this person is almost like, I... I, I know that this is, you know, not the best circumstances, Gemini. Don't give up on me. <laughs> Stay with me. This is what I see for you, Gemini, for the next six months. Let me know down in the comments if this resonated for you at all. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I appreciate your support. I love the comments you leave on my videos. Thank you so much to everyone who's so kind in the comments. It does not go unnoticed. And I will see you on another video very soon. Take care.